In this video, we're going to talk about the tangent ratio. So what I'm doing right now is setting up the uh, coordinate plane and I'm going to draw a rectangle that is 24 units across the x-axis and 15 units on the y-axis. Then I'm going to draw a smaller green rectangle that starts at x value equal to 8 and I'm going to draw a right angle triangle going up to 5. Then I'm going to repeat that, draw a right angle triangle and move up to the x equals 16 and then hit the line at y equals 10. So you can see that these triangles have the same angle at this point A. We're now going to form a special ratio. That's a fraction of the opposite side divided by the adjacent side here. In this case, the, for the large triangle, it's 15 high and 24 wide. Then for the red triangle, it is 10 high and 16 wide, whereas the green triangle is 5 high and, and 8 wide. But these ratios will all reduce to the same. 15 over 24, if you reduce by 3, divide by 3, then you will get 5 over 8, as well as if you reduce the other fraction, 10 over 16, divide by 2, you'll get 5 over 8. And of course, 5 over 8 is already in simplest form. We're going to focus now on the angle down here. And I'm going to enlarge the diagram so our units are going to be 0.1. I've redrawn the scales now so that my diagram goes from 0 along the x-axis all the way up to 2.4. The y-axis goes from 0 to 1.5. I'm starting to build the right angle triangles, the same as before, and this time though, each division is one-tenth of a unit. So now we're going to form the same ratio, the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. For the large triangle, right triangle, or rectangle, it is 1.5 over 2.4. For the red one, it is 1.0 over 1.6. And lastly, the green one is 0 0.5 over 0 0.8. All of them will reduce, though, or simplify to 5 over 8. This special ratio that we've drawn has got a name. It's called the tangent ratio. The tangent ratio, then, is the opposite side of the angle divided by the adjacent side of the angle. In this case, for this size angle, they are all the same. It is 5 over 8. Since it doesn't matter what size our rectangle is, or in this case, reduced to a right angle triangle, then what does the tangent of this angle depend upon? Well, if I throw a protractor on here, it looks like it all depends on the angle. In this case, the angle is it's about 32 degrees. Fortunately, the tangent function is stored in the calculators, and all you have to do is enter the tangent value, which in this case is 5 divided by 8, and then you find the inverse tan of that. If you go to the 1.0 line, you will see that the length of the vertical, or the opposite side, is 0 0.625. That's the 5 divided by 8. If the tangent ratio only depends on the angle, let's have a look and see what happens if we change our angle. Now we used a rectangle that was in the ratio of 5 high over 8 wide and it gave us a 32 degree angle. Let's draw our different angles at 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on. At the x equals 1.0, I'm going to draw a vertical line. This is the line x equals 1.0. Now I'm going to draw an angle, 10 degrees, until it hits the x equals 1.0 line. I'm repeating for 20 degrees, 30 degrees, 40 degrees, and so on. Now the tangent of 10 degrees will be 0.18 over 1. The tangent of 20 degrees is 0.36 over 1. The tangent of 30 degrees is 0.58 over 1. And the tangent of 40 degrees is 0.84. The tangent of 50 degrees is off the chart. But So in summary, 
For a right angled triangle, the tangent of angle A is its opposite divided by the adjacent. Remember, tangents are ratios. They are not angles, they are not lengths, they are ratio of lengths. In this case, the tangent is the ratio of the opposite side over the adjacent side. If you need to find the angle, you need to undo the tangent operation by using the inverse tan. First calculate the tangent of the angle by finding the opposite and dividing it by the length of the adjacent. Once you have that ratio in your on your calculator's display, then inverse tan that to undo the tangent and you will get your angle back.